Good afternoon. A 14-year-old boy has been charged with rape and attempted rape. The alleged assault took place on a 10-year-old girl in Shrewsbury on disused land off St Michael Street last Friday afternoon. The boy, who cannot be named for legal reasons, is due to appear at Telford Magistrates Court tomorrow. Police are this lunchtime continuing to question six people who are accused of offences linked to an attack on a young woman who had a substance thrown in her face. The 19-year-old, who's been named locally as Vicky Horseman, suffered serious burns from what's believed to be a high-strength cleaning fluid. It happened on Tuesday afternoon in Tividale. A cardiologist who was sacked after becoming a whistleblower has been cleared of any wrongdoing. Dr Raj Matu spoke out about two patients dying in overcrowded bays at Walsgrave Hospital in Coventry in 2001. The University Hospital of Coventry and Warwickshire NHS Trust says it was disappointed by the tribunal's ruling and is considering an appeal. As thousands of drivers take to the roads for the Easter getaway, motorists are being urged to plan their journey to avoid delays. Today is likely to be one of the busiest days on the roads. The majority of roadworks are being cleared to help ease congestion. Roads are expected to be particularly busy until 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's a main bank holiday. People do want to get away at Easter. Just, if not only to see friends and family because the sun's out, they want to go to the coast. Some of the weather in the UK so far this year has prevented people getting to the coast with floods, so I think people will take this opportunity. So do expect it to get very busy later on today, maybe from 12 o'clock onwards where, where it will peak in terms of motorway traffic. Teachers from across the East Midlands are attending the annual conference of one of the largest teaching unions, which begins today. The NAS UWT are discussing issues including stress, workload and an ongoing industrial dispute over paying conditions. It's being held at Birmingham's ICC. Warwickshire's Jonathan Trott will take an indefinite break from cricket for a second time in five months due to a stress-related illness. The 32-year-old left the Ashes tour in November early with a similar illness. The batsman said it wasn't fair on his teammates or himself to continue playing while he's unable to function at 100%. OK, time now for the weather. Here's Amanda Houston. A short break, whatever the weather. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Hello and a very good afternoon to you. So the weather is going downhill throughout the bank holiday weekend, but for today it's looking lovely, beautiful sunshine across the region with light winds not feeling too bad. We're looking at a high today of around 14 degrees. Now tonight it stays quiet, it's dry, we've got clear skies and that's going to allow temperatures to fall close to freezing so there will be a widespread grass frost and some air frost too, taking us into a very chilly start to the day tomorrow. But yet again, a lovely start for many of us, bright or sunny spells, perhaps a bit of cloud for the afternoon but it should stay dry and that's of a top temperature this time of 14 degrees. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Lovely to see all that sunshine. Well, that brings you up to date with the news this lunchtime. ITV News Central will be back at 6.30 this evening, but for myself and all the team, have a great Friday.